Hello everybody, this is Marvin Lutchnik again, this time on the user interface of Das Kirchner. When you first start up Das Kirchner, this is what you get. A very simple and empty user interface as much as possible. With a menu here with file effects. Effects will open when you have an image open. Some online support, an online manual. Languages, I'll go into that in a minute, and the infamous about form. And whenever there's an update available, this update available menu will be available. So, let me go into languages first. I implemented now six languages besides English. I also have German, Dutch, Spanish, Espanol. Francais or French, Italiano or Italian and Dutch, Netherlands. I will stick to English for this video. But just to show you what happens if you choose another language, I now go to German, Deutsch. As you can see the whole interface then is changing. Also the menu, Sprachen. Also here, Spanish, Anguas, or Dutch. Let's go back to Talen and select English. <coughs> so I showed you in a previous video already some projects I made. So I now select the open project. And here we go, AI images. Now there are quite some images here and let's take a quick look on the list of effects that I added already. So, okay, just open this one or maybe this one. As you can see, as soon as you select an image, you have a red underline. So you have a visual clue where the image is. And if you look at the bottom, and the status bar you have projects name, AI images and the image name Blackwatch, Marble Gateway, Oil Paint, PNG. Okay, the effects menu. We can sharpen the image. We have a color matrix, we have layer control, some simple click, single click images, which is actually the thing that you can click on, click on, and see what happens. Um, and so there are seven now here, and I've got some more in the making. Um, and of course, artistic effects. So you can make a charcoal, you can cycle colors, edges, and boss implode. Oil paint, roll an image, rotate an image, bring shades, shear, solarize, swirl and wave. And the blur effect. There's a medium blur, noise, plane and spread. And then the frames and borders have these four options. So what the several effects will do is for a later video. One more thing that's now available here is this. is actually a filter possibility to find only those images that you want. Like I have some images with elfin houses, elfin house, elfin church, elfin village, so let's see what we have when I type in part of the name. Elf, oh. Elf of course, not left. And here we have them. So if I now remove this filter, all 63 images are again. Uh, loaded. Oh. 
I would like you to take a look here at the status bar when I remove the filter again. So I go to the filter on which I remove the filter and watch the status bar where you now see the word Das Kirchner. So you see the number of images that are then loaded in this list here. So as I said, there is also an online support, which brings you to the web. And here is the list of users already. Or at least the group of people who are interested. And of course an online manual, which is an HTML file, help file. Now, the about form, in this case, you can browse to wherever you want to go. There's not much on this side yet. You can also look at the free images. <coughs> and you see your username and license here. I'll go into that uh, in a very short video uh, following this one. So that's it for the user interface. Although I mentioned, I forgot to mention one thing. If you now look at the file menu, you see that I have AI images in a list here. So let me close this project for now. I click AI images and there we are again. I could close the project, open another project. What do we have? From my good friend Chris Davis. Let's take a look now. The Chris Davis project is the last project I used and AI images is also still in the list. This list can build up to six projects at the most. If you then open the seventh, then the last project will be removed from the list and your new project will be on top. So that's it for now. If you have any ideas or things, please comment on this video.